What's going on everybody, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is one that I've been excited to make for quite some time now because we're finally starting to see what the potential is with the case study local affiliate SEO, otherwise referred to as lead gen, site can produce in terms of leads and revenue and the numbers have been absolutely astounding and we're going to get into that first off though i want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have been coming in despite not uploading much the past month i've been insanely busy working on a new project that's tailored towards offline business owners and working with clients and also working with my partner on a joint venture working on some higher competition sites but it seems like with the economic holding pattern that we're in a lot of people are coming on to youtube to learn new skills and that sort of stuff so i'm thankful for all of you that have come in into the channel and either watched, liked, subscribed, and overall just joined my whole tribe. If you're brand new to the channel, you don't know what lead gen SEO or local affiliate marketing is or anything like that. Bottom line, what it is is basically you have prospective customers out there and you own the bridge that connects those customers with the business owners that can help those prospective customers get a quote for the services that they're looking for. So whether they're looking for a painter or a landscaper or someone to pour a new driveway with new concrete, repair their siding, install windows, anything that's done to a house or to a property. And where the revenue from that comes in is basically providing that bridge and that service, referral service, if you will, for connecting those customers with those businesses. And you get paid a commission for each one of those qualified customers that comes through, provided that there's coverage for the service provider in that particular area. And so how these prospective customers here get connected to the businesses via our bridge is through the organic search results. And there are several different methods to connecting those prospective customers with those business owners with a different bridge. Now the bridge that I use is organic search result traffic. There is paid traffic, so that would be someone running Google ads like you can see here on the screen. You have ads right up here at the top of the screen. And then you have the organic search results, and this is our Google My Business listing right here. And then we have our website, which also ranks at the top of the organic search results. And I should actually note here, this is technically called the map pack. So a step above the organic search results is the map pack, then you have the organic for websites. So you can also see a few more ads are down here at the bottom as well. And this isn't the only bridge strategy to connect those prospective clients with those businesses. And you can use social media, whether that's organic content that's posted on there or running ads. But for me, in my opinion, this is hands down the best source of traffic because it's so incredibly targeted. People are going to Google and they're typing in exactly what they want. Lawn care near me landscaping in such and such city, tree service near me, whatever service it is that's done to a property in any type of local area, there is a demand for that service because not only are there most likely going to be contractors that serve that area, but then there are also hundreds, if not thousands upon thousands, and in some cases, millions of people looking for those services. So what we're looking at right here is the actual website here, which is the Champlin Outdoor Services website that I've been referring to it as. And it, in conjunction with its Google My Business listing, have just generated a ton of traffic and tons of calls and conversions. Now, it was built with Elementor Pro. So initially, actually, it was built with Thrive Themes Architect, and they were having some issues. So I switched over all of my sites to Elementor Pro, and I could not be happier. And hands down, it is the best website builder for WordPress websites, especially if they are for local service companies or just service companies as a whole. Now, is my site going to win awards at some web design conference or whatever? No, and I don't care because I'm willing to put an ego aside for how great my websites look in exchange to see a true lead generation machine because that's really the purpose of any type of local business style oriented website, whether it's for lead gen or for a client. There's no purpose other than to have the client look professional or generating calls and leads because that's really what matters. That's what you should be using the internet for as a tool to leverage growth of your business. Now, if you want to check out this site, you can just go check it out. There's the URL, but uh, I'm not going to go through the whole site because I'll just take a whole bunch of time. I've done it in previous videos in this case study series. So check out those videos if you want to see them. But so just a quick update on some of the additional rankings that have been acquired. So over here for the tree service here in the city of Champlin, which is the one city that this site targets, you can see it there in the domain name. The website is ranking number one, and then the Google My Business listing here is number three. And so then moving over to a new service that has been recently added to the site within the past couple months is concrete services. So repairing concrete, installing new concrete, whether that's a driveway, patio, sidewalk, walkway, whatever it may be, stamp concrete as well. There's one page on the site and we can see right here that it is sitting in the number three spot for concrete repair. The Google My Business listing is, I believe in like the fifth spot. Oh, it looks like we're in the fourth spot. So not bad there. 
Then we move into Champlain Concrete Patio. And the reason I'm looking at this is because there was a lead that came in, I believe yesterday or the day before, specifically looking for a 20 foot by 15 foot or something like that patio poured underneath their deck of, of concrete. So proven right there that this is easily worth it to any business owner out there. So the Google My Business listing here in the third spot and then the second spot in the organic search results. So some of the work that's been done to this site in the past month was just some links from a vendor I've used many, many times before, which is Surpass, and he's on Legit. There's a link to download the list of service providers and gigs and vendors on the Legit Marketplace that I recommend, and he is one of them, and ordered up on the third of the month a batch of five links to go to the concrete page and they're delivered about two weeks ago and you can see some of the growth already just from some of the rankings i had shown and so that's the only work that's been done to the site for the past month it's basically been completely just out there existing and aside from ordering these links and just paying the hosting bill which let's just say that's a full half hour there really wasn't a whole lot of work done let's say maybe another half hour for the manual submission for the contact firms that came through so you're looking at an hour's worth of work and generated about 550 bucks not bad so what i use this for is fuel and cash flow to build some of the other things i've been working on and also being able to use this as data to get clients and as well as the new product that i've been working on that is tailored towards offline business owners over here to the earning side of things here in the Lead Smart dashboard, you can see that the previous month, which would be April, grand total earnings was about 817 bucks. Now this isn't setting the world on fire, half a mil a week, shop fire, anything like that. But what I look to this as is fuel to grow additional things with what I'm working on. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I anticipated this being higher, but I, what I've noticed is that a lot of the sites that I had been building and their GMBs as well have kind of been sandboxed and they've been stuck at like page three, page two, despite sending good links to them. So I'm gonna have to be patient and wait that out and and see how they turn out but i've also been putting probably close to 75 to 80 percent of my time energy resources and, and effort into and my focus as well into that new offline business product so basically i'm just using this as fuel to fund that project and the vast majority of my income still comes from working with clients and selling services to clients but either way coming over here to the excel spreadsheet that i use to track all of the leads and the just all the different data points here within these sites so grand total calls that have come through the site here in the month of April is 78 phone calls. So that is absolutely insane, especially when you look at this from a business owner's perspective. This, If this was my landscape company that I had had from 2011 to 2016, that is absolutely nuts. That's about three phone calls. That's about three phone calls per day and then an additional two contact form submissions because 59 of them came in. And keep in mind, we're also in a weird economic holding pattern. There was a delay where these types of companies could not operate until I believe like April 7th or something like that due to the all the restrictions and whatnot. So think about that for a second. This is actually a condensed month and we've still been able to have 138 calls and contact form submissions. Now, not every single one of the phone calls was a person. There are some bot calls out there and that's just what happens. So I went through and looked in SignalWire, which is the call tracking software that I use. And I just went and looked through the bin, which you can see here, which basically calculates all of the requests to take the call tracking number in, route it to the lead smart number, and then that gets connected and the whole thing's fulfilled. And you can see a few calls have come in today as well, but I went through and I assessed the timeline of each one of the calls that have come through. So if they're over 30 to 45 seconds, then I assume that it was a real person actually looking for service. If you see a call that's like two, three seconds long, it's probably just a bot. But grand total, 78 phone calls, 31 of which were paid. Now there are specific parameters with lead smart and the locations in which that the lead's going to be qualified. So that is quite a bit lower. That's, I believe, like a 40% conversion rate, actually. Yeah, that is the number there. So there is a bit that's left on the table. But either way, the phone calls are 100% passive. I did not have to do anything. All that was done was initially setting up the call routing number so that way I can track everything. And then Lead Smart does all the call answering. Now for contact form submissions, 59 for the total of the month. These contact form submissions are probably in the thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars in terms of their value to business owners especially when you look at it over the long term for maybe four to six maybe eight or even a year down the line you're probably looking at a six-figure business with just these leads that have come in this month so you can see here obviously the sensitive information is blurred out but people looking for all different sorts of outdoor services for for their home so lawn dethatching is big install paper patios landscape design you can see a lot of just tons and tons and tons of different services here and just keep scrolling through it's actually really cool to see because this has some serious impact 
whether that's the business that owns it or it's lead gen, it still is providing a great service to a lot of companies, which is really fulfilling to see this come through this many people interested, especially during a weird economic holding pattern. So you can see one here that stands out 14 by 18 patio. That is a project that's probably few thousand dollars right there easily but that's a quick rundown on the actual contact form submissions now some of them did go unpaid that's just the nature of the business when it comes to doing local affiliate seo so 49 out of 59 were paid so 80 percent conversion rate but a grand total of 80 paid leads and one thing i want to say with the unpaid leads that came through is that there was nothing necessarily wrong with them. There wasn't any coverage with the network that has a service provider that can provide the service in that area. And that's just the nature of it. Just by looking through each one of these leads, to me as a former business owner in this exact industry, they all had looked solid. But that is just the nature of the business. So it's just, it comes with the territory. So grand total with the calls above 30 to 45 seconds and all the contact from submissions, that's 124 leads that have come in. Now that is absolutely insane to think about in terms of what that can do to transform a business because that provides them a gigantic list of customers that they can not only go and work with and then provide great work with and they're going to tell their friends but people see them on the road to the job site people see them when they're working the social media posts if the homeowner posts and stuff like that to share around and the potential upside is absolutely just astronomical and this is crazy because of the fact that all of this traffic came in from search results with z almost zero search volume. There are two searches within Champlin with, for these services that show any data. Champlin MN Lawn Care and Champlin Landscaping or some variation of that with state abbreviation and whatever show 10 search volume for each one of those and that's it. And some of these other neighboring cities where some of these other leads have come through show zeros for all of them as well. The proof is right there that the leads will come through even if it shows zero search volume. What matters is population and demand for the service. So scrolling over here now to the average conversion rate, so about 62%. And again, it's just, it just comes with the territory that not, that not every single one of them is going to be a conversion, but average qualified lead just under seven bucks, 164 roughly from calls and almost 390 with forms for a grand total of $553, 55 cents and outgoing costs for the month was 12 bucks or so for the hosting and then 12 bucks for those links that were built early on in the month. So those are the numbers right there. So you can see the profit margin is ridiculously high right here. You're looking at about 525 bucks or so profit for the month for this one particular website. So that's pretty sweet. And what I'm really excited about is with the new project that I've been working on that's gonna help a lot of offline service business owners is the data that this provides. So if you wanna stay up to date on my journey, because that's basically what my channel is all about, sharing my business journey and just overall life and what I'm doing and that's what I'm working on, be sure to go down below, smash that subscribe button. And also if you liked this type of content, you like seeing these case studies and that sort of stuff, go down below, drop a like and leave a comment. Let me know what you think with the performance of this particular website. Is it something that that you would expect it is it more is it less let me know what you guys think down below if you want to get guided step-by-step -step training on how to build websites like this that can do revenue like this and get results just like these guys have gotten all right here on the screen there's a link right down below to my course where you can get access to guided step-by-step -step coaching and training and learn exactly how to do all this and how to build these sites from scratch and rank them and get google and business listings and all that sort of good stuff and so with all of that said i will see you guys in the next video